My name is Jojo, and I'm at a wicked cup of cold coal. That's some missed out fire stuff. I'm a hip old granny who could hip hop, bebop, dance till you drop, and yo yo make a wicked cup of cold coal. My people watching us don't even know who that is. <laughs> Crazy! Hello, Hornet Nation, and welcome to this week's edition of Reminders and Thoughts. I'm Joe Hutzler. We've got another great episode for you that features many resources for you to use heading into this week. But first, we've got to start with our coolest clip of the week, and it's all thanks to some long distance runners. All right, here we go. Quiet! Roll up! Nice job, ladies. Uh, a lot of people think that that around the world thing is played out, but when you make it original like that, it's pretty cool. If you'd like to have a chance at one of your favorite clips to be on the show, submit it now using our email address below or tagging us on social media at Lynchburg Sports. Well, usually we have two speakers talking about the reminders for you and then some more thoughts and motivation heading into the week, but this week we're fortunate enough to hear from one person who has some reminders and some thoughts that are very important as we wrap up the school year. Hello Hornets, it's Dean Smith. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're finding yourself uh, safe and um, healthy and all that good stuff. I'm on campus uh, at the moment with my man Joe Hutzler and I, I've got my, uh, my my lacrosse shirt that I bought, uh, which I don't ever buy t-shirts just so you know, but I got my lacrosse shirt on. It's nice. It's a great day to be a Hornet. Uh, one of the things that I wanted to share with you all today, I had mentioned this in, in one of um, my videos before was about uh, it's kind of about resiliency and, and, and kind of making sure that you understand what kind of resources we're still offering here at the University of Lynchburg. This is a tough time. Um, we understand it here at the, at the school and we know everybody's situation has been different uh, at home, um, but, but we're a resilient group. We always have been uh, as an institution, you have been as a, um, as a student as well. And I want to make sure that um, you understand that we still have a, a, a tremendous amount of resources that are available to you here. Um, we're using uh, telecounseling within our counseling center uh, that a lot of our students are still utilizing as well. Uh, we do have some restrictions on that, but if you are interested and you're going through some tough times and you need to talk to somebody, all of our counselors, all of our counselors are still on standby. Um, and we can do that uh, virtually as well. We can do that uh, by connecting one-on-one uh, -on -one, uh, via the computer or on the phone uh, as well. Additionally, uh, I have always encouraged our students to make sure that they're reaching out to their professors if they're having a tough time. Now, I understand there's not a whole lot of time left in our um, for classes, um, but continue to still reach out to your professors in that regard if you're having some troubles. Um, obviously, our Student Government Association worked really hard to try to help uh, get that pass-fail option available to you um, so that you have the, the option to take a, um, a P or your grade as well so that it doesn't hurt your GPA. Um, I know that's not available to, to everybody, but we tried to make sure that it was available to as many folks uh, as we could. And we're always here. So the same folks that you continue to communicate with while you were here on campus, you can still communicate with them uh, while you're at home as well. In fact, I've talked to my staff and student development uh, just about making sure they're reaching out to the, to the folks that they have, um, you know, that they had regular contact with as well. But, but even if you don't hear from one of us, don't hesitate to reach out because we still have, again, a tremendous amount of resources. We want to help you be successful the remainder of this semester into the summer and into the, into the fall as well. So uh, again, we're still here for you. And, and again, resiliency, I think, is the word of the day that these times, they really de help to develop uh, your character. Uh, they help to test uh, really kind of who you are at this time. We've all gone through some tough things in our lives. I'm not talking about just now in the pandemic. I'm talking about all throughout our lives. And it never is about 
um, the incident itself. It's always about how you respond to the incident. So don't let this pandemic, don't let this particular situation be a thing that, that kind of keeps you down. Um, there are resources out there. You know, one of the things, that I know Joe, I'm going way off script. One of the things that, that somebody asked me one day, uh, we were actually it was Coach Scott. I was talking to Coach Scott the other day, um, just last week. And we were talking about how hard it is sometimes to ask for help. Um, and I was one of those people in that, in that situation as well. And then I started to reframe that a bit and said, you know what, I ask for help every day just by asking questions. If you don't know somebody's phone number, you say, hey, so-and-so, do you know their phone number? Like that's asking for help. Just ask for what it is that you need. Answer might not always be yes, but at least you put it out there and you did your best. And that's what we have to do during this time. That's what creates resiliency. Do your best during this time and understand that there are people that are here to help you in that regard got a lot of services feel free to email me at smith.a if you have any questions i'd be happy to uh be happy to help you we're here for you take care thank you dr smith as always great to hear from him a uh, truly great person that we have on campus and the ability to talk to him uh, for you is unmatched in a lot of other areas around the country so use those tools and get yourself started on a great week and finish strong to a great semester before we end up end the show, we do want to remind you that we will be having the Lynchburg Sports Awards. It's going to look different. We're still working on plans for that, but next week uh, was the original scheduled date for that on Monday. Uh, as of right now, that is the uh, still the date that we want to stick with. But of course, if there are changes, we will let you know. And of course, we'll let you know as well how you can watch uh, and enjoy the show uh, next week. All right, that's all we've got time for today. Reminder to keep up to date with everything Lynchburg Sports by following us on social media, at Lynchburg Sports, on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Until next week, I'm Joe Hutzler reminding you, it's a great day to be a Hornet, and we are One Nation.